Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to do some interesting thing. We're going to take the remote session of a Windows machine from our Red Hat Linux 6 server. And I have with me my Red Hat Linux 6 server that is Red Hat V6 4 Mac 2. And I got a Windows test machine that is uh, Windows V8 1 Test. And it's a Windows 8.1 machine. So let's see how we take the remote desktop of a Windows machine from a Linux server. And just to remind you that you uh, need to have a GUI uh, available so in order to take the remote desktop. So let's open the terminal and query for a package our desktop. And since this package is installed, so uh, let's just install it yum search our desktop and here is the package so let's just copy it and do our yum install our desktop and the installation is done let's do a yum info our desktop and this is a 1.6.0 version of uh, the uh, desktop package. Now, uh, let's toggle to our Windows machine. And uh, here, you transcend to the My Computer and check its properties. You go off to Remote Settings. And on this Remote tab, you just need to select this Allow Remote Assistance Connections to this computer. And um, on this Remote Desktop, just click on allow remote connections to this computer and uh, you need to keep this box unchecked allow connections only from remote uh, from computers running remote desktop with the uh, network level authentication just keep this unchecked just click on apply select ok go back to your Linux server and uh, since we have our DNS in place so we can uh, do it directly via the host name. So we specify here our desktop and uh, the windows, windows hyphen v8, v8 hyphen one hyphen test. And you see that it has opened this uh, remote desktop session for us. Now, you would be wondering that we I get some cursor errors here. And uh, let me just mind you that this is a bug that is there in this 1.6 version, which is uh, further fixed in the 1.7 version. So let's close this. And um, let's go to uh, the root directory where I have uh, downloaded the our desktop package of 1.7. Let's go about installing this RPM hyphen IVH and this. Okay, this looks good. Okay, let's let's do a package upgrade instead. So RPM hyphen UVH and let's specify this copy paste. And this is done perfectly. So since the package version for 1.6 was already installed, already it, it uh, installed it 100%, but it was still saying that uh, there is a conflict with the files that were already existing. So let's query a package, rpm-qa, grep-i, r desktop. And indeed, we got a 1.7 version. So now let's try to initiate the connection. R desktop. And uh, let's specify the host name. So that's Windows hyphen V8 hyphen one hyphen test. And you see there are no errors. And we got a remote desktop session here. Now um, to take this in the uh, full window session mode, I'll, I'll, I'll momentarily display you. you. Just need to execute the same command with the hyphen F option. And you see, we got our desktop here signed in. 
Now to exit this desktop, you need to send a control alt enter sequence. And if you see the VMware menu, you'll see that there is only an option to send a control alt del. Well, of course, it'll not work for us. So here's the snack. Let me just tell you how you go about doing it. So you press a control and alt on your keyboard, then press the space key once and release it without releasing the control and alt keys and then press and enter and that transcends you right from the full screen mode to the other mode so it means the minimal mode or not the full screen mode so this is done and i hope this has been informative for you and you enjoyed watching i'll request you all to subscribe for my uh, subscribe for my channel if you have not for more technical video updates that's all for now thank you so much for watching